Now let's imagine that your Arduino needs to speak to a computer. You might want to do that because you could gather data from an Arduino sensor, interpret the data somewhat on your Arduino, maybe scale the range down or expand it or combine it with multiple sensors. And then your computer can do a lot of back-end processing, say, fill out an Excel sheet or perform some higher math that an Arduino can't do. There's lots of reasons. Or maybe you just want to create a device that can control lighting or music or something from your computer. And how would you do that? Well, the easiest way is to talk between the Arduino and your computer through serial communications. And today I'm going to demo how to do that using a program called Processing. And if you're not familiar with Processing, go ahead and download it and take a look at it. It's really a fun learning environment. It was designed for artists and tinkerers to have a visual interface. And the beauty of the programming environment, it's very much like Arduino. So it's a very low learning curve if you already know Arduino. So I'm going to go through the demo that the Arduino.cc website has. Let's take a look at it. And they have this program right here written out. Here's all the code that you're going to need. And here's the hardware and software required. And basically, I'm going to have the Arduino running some code that will read a potentiometer. And after it reads that potentiometer, it's going to send it out through the serial port via USB. And typically, we would open up the serial port monitor to see the data coming through. Well, guess what? That is running through the serial port of the computer. We could open up another application and listen in on that as well. And that's what we're going to do with processing. So let's get started. Number one, we have to program the Arduino to read this potentiometer. We've done this many, many times. Hopefully you remember all this. If not, you can go back and take a look at some of the earlier videos. And the outside two leads of the potentiometer are the five volt and ground. And depending on which way I hook this up, our readings will be between zero and 1023. 1024 steps total. And if I have it one way, it'll be zero all the way counterclockwise. The other way, it'll be 1023 counterclockwise. So let's see which way this works. I'm going to go ahead and plug my Arduino in. I'm going to scroll down from the website here. And I'm going to grab the graph code right here. And then I'm going to switch over to Arduino. I'm going to paste it in there. And basically, it starts a serial communication, 9600, and it reads analog A0. I've got the potentiometer into A0. Most Arduino demos look, look at that pin for analog in. Just seems to be a standard, but it can be any analog in pin. A delay, very short. Let's go ahead and upload this. Make sure my board is OK, port's OK. And let's upload it. And it's done uploading, open up the serial monitor. Oh, and there we go. We already have 1023. So if I turn it all the way to the right, it goes to zero. All the way left, 1023. I actually don't like that. I want all the way counterclockwise to be zero. All I have to do is switch the positive and negative on here. And now all the way left is zero. All the way right, 1023, just like I thought it would be. 1024 steps. Remember, zero is your first step. And that's it. Now, as long as the Arduino is plugged in, it's sending out that information to my computer on one of the serial ports. So I can go ahead and close that and close Arduino and then go down here and you'll see in the same chunk of code, there's the processing code right here. And I can copy all of that. Although I do see something that might be an issue. And speaking of processing, before I paste it in there, I'll show you processing.org is where you can learn more about processing. And there are a ton of great tutorials and examples on there. Super fun program. You really should play around with it. If you're into Arduino, you probably enjoy processing as well. And that's where you would download it. And I can start up processing. Oh, I don't think I have it going. Oh, here it is. Paste that code in here. And let's run it as is. 
And as you can see, I'm getting nothing. And I kind of expected that. And I'll tell you why. You have to put in what port it is, number one. And number two, when I copied the code from the website, if you look at this, remember the asterisk forward slash? That has this whole application commented out. So I found a mistake on the Arduino website and I'm going to email the team and ask them to make that correction. So if you go ahead and download this following my video, don't worry about it. What I had to do is add this uncomment right after this comment. And now you can see the code went from gray. If I delete this again, see how it's all gray? That's bad. That means it's all commented to uncommenting it. Now let's upload it. Oh, all of a sudden I get a sketch. And once again, it doesn't work. And now this is what I was going to look at before I realized there was a comment error. And that is right here in your serial list. And I know that my Arduino is on port one. And if you don't know what port it's on, do a Google search to figure out what ports your Arduino is connected to. It's fairly simple. Typically you'll have anywhere of zero to four ports. Um, in my situation, port one is what Arduino is connected to. And you'll need to make that change. There is some code in here that will list the serial ports, but it won't give you the exact number. So what I saw was three ports on there. Well, first one's going to be zero, second one's one, third one is two, and my Arduino happens to be sitting at port one. Now let's go ahead and run this code. And perfect. If you watch my code right here and I turn my potentiometer, you can see it's scaling up and down. So I now have processing talking to my Arduino. So I could graph data. I could control maybe a processing sketch that has brightness or colors or anything. And that being said, your Arduino doesn't necessarily have to control your processing sketch. It works the other way around. Processing and Arduino and serial communications is a two-way street. I could actually have a screen here where when I click on a button, an LED lights up on my Arduino. So it opens up a whole new world of possibilities when you can leverage the power of a computer and a graphical interface with just an Arduino and in this case, a very simple potentiometer.